One of the most common things that we go over with patients and clients is control of foot muscles. So this is something we review with almost every single person that comes to us with any sort of knee or foot pain. It's super important to understand. Our feet have muscles in them and those muscles are what control the three arches in both of our feet. And a lot of times our feet get very atrophied and weak and lazy because we live in sensory deprivation chambers, also known as shoes all day long. And as we all know, if you don't use it, you lose it. So if we're not using our foot muscles, they're gonna get weak. So there are two things we always look at. One is control of what's called the short foot and two is control of our toe musculature and our toes in general. So today we're gonna review the short foot and what it looks like and how to find it. So the first thing you're going to do when it comes to the short foot is find the position. So I'm gonna go through all of that with you, how to find the position and how to activate your muscles in that position. Now, it's not that this is the only position that's correct for training, for walking, for running. It's just to understand how to control it and then how to load it to strengthen it. These intrinsic foot muscles are very important to control the arches, as I said before, and the way that those arches work is as we take a step, those arches and those muscles control the lower of our foot into the ground and the force dissipation from our foot all the way up the chain. The way this works is very similar to the egg toss game. If you guys are familiar with that, that's where you have a partner and you throw an egg back and forth as long as you can until the egg breaks. When you catch the egg, you need to make sure that you are slowly lowering it back so that the force dissipation is not a lot at once. It is dissipated slowly over time. Our arches and our feet work just like that when they are strong and working as they should. Because they get weak, we have to work on them sometimes. And so I'm gonna show you today how to find them and how to work on it. So now we are gonna go through how to find and activate the short foot. The first thing that we are gonna do is bring you a little bit closer so you can see what my feet look like. So as we're in this position, I want you guys to unlock your knees and make sure your rib cage is kind of stacked on your pelvis. If you are not, you will be in a position where your weight will be on your toes or way too much in your heels. The second thing we are gonna be doing is with feet shoulder width apart, you're going to find the tripod. The tripod is the weight distribution on your feet. So you want your, your weight to be distributed between your first metatarsal head, that is this part of our foot here, our other fifth metatarsal head, which is this part over here on your pinky toe, and your heel. So I want you to find that position with your knees unlocked on both feet. From there, we're going to spread the floor. So you're gonna kinda of turn your feet out like you're screwing your feet into the ground. And from there, you will see your arch kind of lifts. As you do that, I want you to think about bringing your first metatarsal head towards your heel. That is where we shorten the foot. And you can see my arch lifts up right there. So again, you're going to find the tripod, spread the floor, and lift your arch by bringing your great toe, or first toe, first met head towards your heel. From there, you're gonna lift all of your toes, spread them, and put them back onto the ground you'll feel a little bit more activation in your foot muscles. The last thing you're going to do is then drive your nails straight into the ground and that lifts your first met head up just a little bit. So now the weight is more in your big toe, first met head and your heel. That is the short foot. Your foot does not stay in this position. This is just how to find it, to strengthen it and work on it. From here, you can do all kinds of exercises to load it. Just standing on one leg, is one of the ways working on doing this and loading it in strength training exercises like single leg deadlifts or all your regular deadlifts and squats is another way to load it. But the more control that you have of these foot muscles, the better you're gonna be at basically everything, especially for your, your lower extremities. So find the short foot, work on that, see if you can find it and don't be worried if you start cramping at first because that's super common. Just work through it a little bit and the cramping will start to go away. And that is how to find and work on your short foot.